Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. The time we have together lessons. We're almost done. Although I don't know how much... I don't know how close we're getting to the end if somebody doesn't have enough free time. Yeah. But that's another story. <laughs> it's out of my hands. I'm not blaming you. <laughs> no, you're blaming you somebody. Yeah, I'm blaming I'm blaming whoever controls time and space. <laughs> so you're blaming Chrono Trigger? <laughs> if it was Chrono Trigger, we'd have infinite time to finish this LV. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back five I could minutes just jump ago. Into the, I could just jump into the epoch and go, hey, let's just go back in time to when you had free time and finish this all up. Sure, we would probably have to re... Sure, I'd have to redo a lot of parts that we already commentated over, but fuck it. <laughs> Not to mention, like, the me in the past would be like, what the fuck? I never remember recording any of this. No, I'll just... No, we'll just do, like, what happened with that one part of Sonic Adventure 2 where we tried to record, like, four times, and then we just skipped the part and went to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. Yeah. It's because 90% of that was my fucking fault. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, five years ago, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Apparently, even though we're in the present, we're apparently in prehistoric times now because the reptite layer is back. And I was like, nah. He's like, yeah. Anytime you sit in the throne, I feel like whoever's sitting in the throne just laughs because they think they're Azala. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really, like, this is one of the many things they don't explain. Like, hey, there's just the, like, the reptite lair is just now in a cave in 1000 AD now. <laughs> like, somehow Azala, ex like, escaped. Well, not escaped, Even but it's she... just like the dinosaurs somehow find a found a way to just survive even to the present day. Oh, God, we walked into the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Except they didn't evolve into humans. <laughs> or those weird-ass Goombas. God, God. <laughs> Hey, those were hilarious, damn it. Uh, those are creepy as fuck. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, just like before, you fight all the same enemies you fought in the Reptite Lair. So this Gigasaur will absorb all your lightning attacks and then counterattack with an electric with an electric attack, which actually does a, still does a decent amount of damage. I don't think you necessarily need Ayla for this part, but you may as well use her because she's the strongest physical attacker in the goddamn game. <laughs> so exactly, why wouldn't why would you not use her? She's definitely my favorite one of my favorite characters to use in my main party. <laughs> and you're still trying to get Magus's last uh, text, huh? It's gonna be a while before he gets dark matter. Oh god. Maybe if the game didn't give him to you literally at the very end, he would l learn his text faster. <laughs> or maybe if it had some leniency and actually gave him some text, depending on how far your levels are with your p uh, party before Mag is joined. Nope. Instead, you start with you got fire two, ice two, and and lightning two. Good. And then you got to learn all his dark magic again. Good luck with that. <laughs> Which makes no sense. So with that part's fine. What makes little what make what doesn't make sense is you still have to go back to Speccio to for him to start learning them again. Do you? So apparently, yes, you do. <laughs> like he has to you have to talk to Speccio for him to start learning shadow magic again, which is dumb. It makes no sense. <laughs> I don't think I remember him actually needing to. Uh, maybe I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking of everyone else, but I could have sworn he did. Anyway, point is, he's going to be on my team for the rest of the game. And usually, as long as you go through every single side story, as long as you do every single side quest before the Black Omen, he's going to learn Dark Matter, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So now we got this. Do not hit that center switch. Unless you want to ignore fighting these enemies here. Uh, you can hit that center switch, and it makes pitfalls appear, and then... These two apes just kind of fall in the pit and die. <laughs> Sounds about right. So, yeah. Uh, the frustrating thing about these guys is that all these guys have, like, way too much HP. <laughs> yeah. That's like, I already hit over a thousand on this one guy, and he's still alive. It's like, normal enemies should not have 1500 HP. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. 
So, so, uh, but, you just have to use all three of your party members. Now, the annoying thing is they counterattack by throwing you every time you damage them. Except if they're Assuming too far away. Assuming you're next to that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 30, 10 po 30 tech points. That's good. Yeah. I mean, you're going to gain your techs pretty dang quickly. It's just... It's just unfortunate that by the time you get Magus, you're so close to the end of the game that you, if you really want him to get all his techs, he's, he's basically required to be on your team. <laughs> I don't know why. There's just it's... like... Like, just recently I bought uh, I Am Setsuna for a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, because you need more excuses. You needed more excuses to not finish Battletoads. <laughs> yeah, that's done. That's all in. That's all in the past now. Yeah, now you have. Yeah, and now you. That's that's totally good. So how much of a, how much of I Am Setsuna are you gonna play before you buy Xenoblade Two? <laughs> Thing is, though, I Am Setsuna is made like I. I'm not sure if it's no. It's not by the same people who. Like it's inspired by Chrono Trigger is the thing. So it has the same kind of it battle is. system. Yeah, it's. Yeah, mostly because Square is never going to make another game like this again. <laughs> yeah, just like from what I observed so far, what little I played, and by that I mean like 20 minutes so far. <laughs> God damn. No, I only played it this morning, hey, so just like I haven't really had much chance to play, and I've just been relaxing other than like, just playing everything else but that. Right. But like from what I played so far, just like the text you learn, just like they're much more customizable. But at the very, uh, but that's me only saying that after only getting one text so far. Well, to be fair, I don't. Well, I don't know anything about I am Setsuna, but for this game, everyone has their own unique text, so that's kind of why it's not customizable. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have given Magus Luminaire by now. <laughs> Plus, I'm not even because I only have one party member so far, and I haven't gone that far into it, but. From what I've observed, like, the people, like, your party members can only get techs if you equip them with certain, like, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. It's just like just an item that they have to equip in order to get certain techs or certain support uh, stats or something like that. Are you going to get Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Nah. Why? Because you know that it's going to be like Xenoblade X where you buy it and then never play it and then you end up wanting to sell it because you never touch it again? <laughs> Nah, it's just because I have a bunch of other games to do on the time, too, so just like, I'm smarter than I was last year. You had to give me that much. <laughs> yes, that's true. But see, now that you're finished with your Let's Play, you have no excuse. <laughs> yeah, I really don't. So why aren't we finishing this? Oh, wait, well, we are finishing this, but... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this is the new part. It's not one-to-one -one the same thing as the uh, Tyranno Lair, because now we're inside a cave. So, yeah, it's different. Also, we can't really do anything about Azala. Like, Azala's dead. She's not coming back. <laughs> yeah, really? She kind of got killed by Lavos when he fell on her. <laughs> and I'm not joking. He literally fell right on top of her. And ain't she's ain't no way anyone's <laughs> surviving that. Although that begs the question, how come there are Reptites here if all the Reptites died when Lavos landed, but... Eh. I want to say evolution, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. I don't think that's the case. They look exactly the same as they did millions of years ago. I mean, evolution, I mean, evolution is a thing in this game. <laughs> I know, but, sort of. But why do these guys look exactly the same as they did millions of years ago? Laziness? Yeah. <laughs> Reusing character, reusing character sprites, and just tweaking the. They they pulled an RPG maker. They took the same character sprites and they just changed the stats around. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Gave it a slightly different name, and it's just like, no, it's an entirely different enemy. What are you talking about? Yeah, now we got a blue rock. I'm not sure what triple check. I'm not sure what triple tech that works with. I just know it does something. <laughs> I don't know what all the. I don't know what all the rocks do. I know the black rock is used for Omega Flare. That's the only thing I remember. <laughs> but, oh well. I also need Triple Kick. I don't... Th oh no, I think I have Triple Kick already. I think everyone's got all their techs except Magus. Because he's a dick. And he's taking too long to freaking learn them. There he goes. <laughs> well, aren't all of his Triple Techs entirely based on items that he has to equip? 
Yeah. Dark Flare and Omega Flare, he has to equip those special rocks. Right. Uh, again, I think I mentioned this in an earlier part, but whatever. I don't really... Honest, I've seen them in videos. I don't think they're worth it. Like, I think Omega Flare is slightly stronger than Luminaire, but just barely. So it's not worth it, especially since it's a triple tech, so you're wasting an entire turn. Yeah, I know, but... Using but, one character. completion is... <laughs> I've never fully 100% completed this game. I know you said you did it with the 3DS, or with the DS version, but at least the DS version gives you incentive to get more stuff. Right. <laughs> Outside of the 11 extra endings you can get. That's really the only replay value the original version has, is you have nine other endings you can get. And even then, they're not, they're not like completely marked, kind of like with the PS1 and the DS version, where they, it straight up tells you, oh, you got this ending already, or you got yeah. all these items. Well, again, even with this, even with this version, like the only thing, like it, you get, you get a couple little extra things whenever you get all the endings. Like you can unlock the sound test, which, which actually has the two unused music tracks in it, which is pretty awesome. But then the three, but then the DS version actually uses the two unused tracks. So, <laughs> pretty much everything about the DS version is this version, but better in every way. Yeah, the, <laughs> the DS version is like. <laughs> If you don't mind, like, the complete, like, directly translated ver uh, version of it, like, if you're not a nostalgia whore and you actually don't mind the script being, like, tra accurately translated or not woolsey -ized, which, honestly, it's not bad. Woolsey translation isn't bad at all, but, like, if you, like, grew it's a lot up better, on it and it's you a lot can't stand anything but it, then, but even so, like, the DS version is by and far, like, the more, the superior version, the superior way to play this game. To this game, to the, to the Super Nintendo version's credit, while Ted Woolsey didn't do an accurate translation, it's still a million times better than they did on Secret of Mana, because holy crap, Secret of Mana is a really, really poorly translated game. <laughs> Hey, maybe when they, like, isn't, the, aren't they, no, wait, isn't it going to be just like a PS4 version that they're doing, like the uh, Secret of Mana remake? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, the script itself, like, if you look back on my old LP of that game, there's, like, an entire text box that only has, like, one sentence in it, because that's just how much translation they did. <laughs> it's like, there's clearly supposed to be, like, an entire paragraph and a half here, but you but all you pro but all you translated was like two sentences like come on apparently they were like really pressed for time and they just half assed the translation just to, just enough to make it to make it legible and playable as a as a you know as a story but my god it's bad <laughs> <laughs> and i love that game too by the way <laughs> I'm just curious how the remake is going to come out to be because I it actually from what I understand it's the remake is just going to be a port of like the mobile version of Secret of Mana. That yeah, makes sense. I personally would rather just get the Secret of Mana collection to have all three games, considering Secret of Mana three never got released in America. But that's just me. <laughs> I've only heard of that and game, honestly, and then just like is Secret of Mana there's like is Second End set to three really that like much better compared to the second game it's one of the it's actually kind of weird it has like it actually has like three different storylines you can do so you um instead of having just the three basic characters that you find like in second densetsu 2 you actually choose you actually choose the character you want to play with and their and the story goes by their perspective it's kind of like uh uh, how can I explain it? It's kind of like how uh, Zillia One did it, right? Except it's different stories depending on who you pick. It's not the same story told from a different perspective. It's actually like the the overall plot is the same, but it's but they have different characters and different villains that you fight based on who you've picked in your team. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's eh, what's another. I mean, like, I'm probably a more accurate way of seeing it is just like the new one that's coming out, like the Octopath Traveler, 
Where it's just like yeah, separate... it's, yeah. It's actually kind of like it's actually a lot like Octopath Traveler. Now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like there's like a, a multiple characters that you have different like stories on. They have different bosses, but eventually they do kind of like line up to like form a uniform story. Yeah, except with except with Secret of Mana three, you you can't use all the characters at once. Once you pick the three that you're using, you're stuck with them unless you start a new game. Eesh. So, I mean, it it's not very long. I think it's about as I haven't played it in forever, but it's about as long as Secret of Mana is Secret of Mana was. So it's only like a twenty hour game. So <laughs> you can beat it relatively fast. Hell, I've been re I've been replaying through Secret of Mana on my uh, SNES Classic, which, by the way, should have had Chrono Trigger on it. I'm still pissed about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, goddamn, you just I, want these I guys. I legit don't know. I know. <laughs> I think I run away from them <laughs> because I don't feel like fighting them again. Do I? No. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> they pissed me off because they. Re no, what happened was I was trying to hit the switch. To make sure that they killed themselves, but apparently I t triggered the <laughs> I triggered the battle right as I came in, which really fucking sucks. <laughs> eh. I also probably left it in because I thought I could finish this faster because I beat it pretty quick. Now that now that Ayla has triple kick, she dominates everything. See? <laughs> yep. When she does twenty, when she does two thousand damage, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> No, it's like 1,800 damage. It's insane. She almost does 20,000 damage with that move. Yeah. Ayla is broken. <laughs> <laughs> the only character, physical attack-wise, that comes even close to doing that much damage is Chrono. And that's if, you use, and that's if you're using Confusion or Frenzy, depending on the translation you're going by. <laughs> yep. Uh, and if you're using the Shiva Edge, because the Shiva Edge actually makes that... That's one of the reasons why you'd want to use the Shiva Edge is because it makes Frenzy ridiculously strong. <laughs> Cause it, I don't know if that counts as getting criticals, because I don't think Frenzy can get critical hits, but... Goddamn. Right. <laughs> Although it doesn't really matter, because if you're playing the DS version, it doesn't matter if you have the Shiva Edge or the Rainbow Sword. You have the even better sword that may as well just be 100% criticals at that point. <laughs> yeah. What is the name of that sword, anyway? I never played the DS version. I think it was called the Dream Edge. I can I can barely remember. That makes sense. Yay, Rubbles! Because I think uh, like I the guys in like in the DS version, the Rainbow Sword is. I think it's called the Rainbow Edge, and then like the one that's stronger than that is the Dream Edge. That makes sense, considering dreams are like the main theme of this game, and Chrono Tr and Chrono Cross. But that's another story. Not to mention the team that developed this is called the Dream Team. Yeah. See, this is why I kept Magus, because you get to fight two Rubbles. <laughs> free 200 ability points. And he still isn't in, and he still doesn't have enough to get freaking Dark Matter. Jesus Christ, Magus. Do hurry it. the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, well... Hell yeah. Yeah, see, even he's impatient. He's like, fuck it. Give me that. <laughs> it's like 200 ability points. Like, 200 tech points, ability points, whatever. I'm, I'm thinking of too many different games. <laughs> <laughs> I think ability points is, uh... Yeah, whatever. It's like, how close are we? 200 away! I'm almost there! Almost there, man. <laughs> Just maybe, like, one or two more bosses, you're fine. It's like, as, as long as I make it through this dungeon, he's gonna learn Dark Matter. And I and keep in mind, I still have... And I still have... Marl's side quest to do before Lavos. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't feel so long, but... Sometimes it takes forever. So anyway, hit this, and like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> kind of had to pull this thing again. I mean, I could walk back, um, I could walk back out the long way, but... Do you really want to? Then I wouldn't get this, then I wouldn't get this power tab. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it. Plus, it walks me right back into the beginning anyway. And the, mo and the monsters respawned! Fantastic! <laughs> uh, yep. I don't know why. I don't remember the enemies respawning so often in the- Ow! Sorry, Magus. <laughs> it's just a matter of just like, if you leave the- do you, did, you, did you leave the room? Yep, they're coming back. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. It just makes trips just, back and pain in the ass, though. 
It, it does. I mean, once the boss is dead, then the enemies stop respawning. I just don't remember monsters respawning this e this much. Right. It has been a long time since I recorded this. Also, that should... Yeah, that totally one-shotted everybody. Except for the friggin' Gigasaur, because that thing has like 3,000 HP! God damn it! <laughs> and of course it does Why the does Discord one... as soon as you finally did the Luminaire. It's like... No, what bothers me more is like he was probably only down to like 10 HP because Magus just finished him off and I was like, ugh. I mean, to, I could have been pumping Chrono with all of my magic tabs to make his Luminaire do like 9,000 damage, but I didn't want to do that yet. <laughs> I'm a... I don't know why, but I feel like holding on to all my power holding on to all my tabs before the end of the game god damn it these fucking enemies i know and i don't want to fight them but i have to go this way and every time i go over there they spawn even though like magus lift your right foot and just press the button I don't know chrono's far enough chrono's far enough away that he wouldn't fall into the pit nope, not anymore he's no gonna not fall. he's gonna fall in that pit <laughs> now he'd be like hey <laughs> it's like hey <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to die again? <laughs> okay. God damn it. There. Thank you, Magus. See, Magus is pissed. Now he's kicking ass. <laughs> now he's pulling a chrono and getting more criticals than he probably should be getting. <laughs> Which is weird, because I don't think Magus is that fast. In fact, I think he's one of the slower characters in the game. Makes sense. I mean, he is kind of like a magic user, and magic users are kind of meant to be slow. Because otherwise, if they were fast, then they'd just be nuking everything in sight. To, to be fair, Magus already does that. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like they have to make up for that by them having a pretty low speed stat. So it takes them a little while longer to load up their gauge. God damn it. You damn it. So it won't let you do it. No. <laughs> it's like, God, I didn't... I, please tell me I ran. <laughs> Why didn't you cut no. these out? Probably because when I looked at it, I finished it in one full turn, and so I figured it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> I don't see these guys getting one-shotted. Except for those ones. That fucking monkey's still around, though. Like, oh, come on, Chrono, you're fast enough. You could have finished him off there. <laughs> Too far, too far. See? <laughs> if you had just attacked him, that wouldn't have happened. Hey. But no. It's like too far away to counterattack. But my turn came up, even though Chrono's ATV went up first. Stupid monkey. <laughs> hey. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, do not go to the right. There we go. Are we done yet? There you go. We're not... It's not that far off. I know, but we keep going back into the same room as the enemies keep respawning. <laughs> it's not my fault they respawn. I have to go to the right. That's the problem. I'm trying to remember how to open that stupid... How to open that thing. You just came out of there. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. It doesn't open unless you're from I... the other side, I think. Oh. And I think I'm realizing that, and I'm just like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't remember this dungeon very well. Sue me. I haven't done the end. I haven't done the bonus dungeons in a long time. Sue me. And then Chrono's just like, <laughs> I think really? I was look <laughs> <laughs> like ah shit. <laughs> well, well, the part's almost done anyway. But it's just like, eh, why do I not remember where I'm supposed to go? And it's like, wait, if I go back here, am I gonna have to fight those assholes again? Pretty damn Probably. sure. Like, can I avoid this fucker? No. <laughs> Shit. Magus, push the fucking button. But then Chrono will fall to his death. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Eh. Ow. <laughs> oh, see? See? Even the ace is like, nope, not this time, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. This is not a. This dungeon's not this. The dungeon's not bad, people. In fact, I'm almost done with it already. I just kind of got back. I when I came back up here, I took a wrong turn, which made me have to go through this room three times, and I should have only had to go through it twice. Ugh. 
My bad. Punch the Boom, monkey. Boom, he's dead. <laughs> there, he's dead. The monkey's dead. <laughs> Again, how many of these have we killed now? Like, seven? <laughs> they sh Like, if they weren't extinct from the lavos crashing into them, they should be extinct by now. Why are you going back? Like, wait. Why am I going back? Oh, I don't remember. Thank God no, you did like, not trigger oh, that, that fight. I was like, wait, no, I am going the right way. No, I thought what I was doing was like, wait, is this really the right way? And they're like, wait, yes it is, because that, that room looked familiar to me. And I'm just like, no, now I remember, because I am supposed to fall down here, but I, went but I went through the wrong door when I was coming back. That was the problem. There we go. Now I'm remembering, because I went through the left door. I'm supposed to go through the right exit there. <laughs> There we go. There's the safe point. That's the room I was supposed to go to. But there, wa but there was an item that I missed on the other w pathway through. That's why I went through it again. But this is the way I'm supposed to go. Save point. Thank God. And wrong button. Because I keep forgetting which button opens the menu and which <laughs> opens the party swap. <laughs> <laughs> I blame that on the PS1 controller. I blame that on the PlayStation controller, though, because I remember A, B, X, and Y more than Triangle Circle X Square. Right. <laughs> but... Hey, we did it. And you know what? I'm not too disappointed because Magus needs all the tech points he can get, so if I had to go through the same hallway twice, I'm sorry, but at least it means I don't have to grind as much anymore. But we're almost done with this dungeon. Hey, the way, even after, it's just after this, isn't it just like Marl's side quest and that's it? Uh, yeah, there's Marl's side quest, and then Black Omen, and then Lavos, and then we're done. <laughs> Finally. We, we're almost done. I swear to God, we're almost done. It should have been done months ago, but circumstances kind of got in the way. <laughs> yeah. And I think this is when I was like, do I switch party members out? And I was like, yep. Chrono, you're fine. Marl, get in here. I'll have you help when I go fight the fight when I go fight this boss. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. In the next video, we're going to finish this place up. See, even if I didn't backtrack, I still probably wouldn't have had enough time to do the boss. Because <laughs> if we would have been there in 25 minutes, and there's no way in hell I'm beating this boss in 5 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I mean, I wish I could beat this boss in 5 minutes, but no. I'm sure it's possible. No. Maybe? I, I, don't, uh, I don't know. Yeah. We'll figure it out in the next video. <laughs>